guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany and today I'm going to do a flip through of my new life planner. So this is going to be my third video this week. So you guys are probably tired of hearing my voice, but I wanted to kind of show you what I done already in my life planner. I did get the daily duo and I frank and planned it. It is, it wasn't that hard literally took me less than 30 minutes and I don't know I'm excited to try it I did use the daily petite planners previously and I really like those but I think the daily duo pages since they are bigger I can decorate more I think it will be good so this is the cover I got on my planner it just says my name it has my three kiddos and it's just in a dark purple and light purple and then the background is gray so I really like that so I am just literally going to flip through and show you what I've done to set it up show you the shops that I got the stickers at so you can kind of I mean if you want to shop there and get the same thing you can go for it all right so I did get the colorful version so I started off with this. This is from Sticker Mama Co. So it's just my name. It has two hearts. You can pick the color. I'm pretty sure this was a three inch sticker, if I remember correctly. Down here, I just used some washi. This washi is actually one of my favorite washi tapes, and it's from Walmart. Um, and then today I went and actually got, I think like eight more rolls. They have a pretty good selection. They have a few sticker books. If you're not into like shopping at Etsy, you can definitely find some at Walmart. But yeah, that is this. So let's keep going through here. All right, so this is my calendar. I ordered this big sticker. You can get it here, Sticker Mama, and it's 1203. So it just comes black and white. This did not come with it. This was on a sampler that I've had forever ago. You can actually change the categories that you want here. And then again, I just color coded with these little circle, um, I don't know, circle dots from Planner Kate S810. So these work really well. And like I said, I have three more, but I didn't really need anything else I needed to track. So I have my first day. Um, first day of school, last day of school, fall break, birthdays, no school, and then the, the kids' spring break. So I really like how this turned out. If you don't want to go sticker crazy, you can take a highlighter and just highlight over the numbers. It's no big thing. Just so you can kind of glance and see, you know, what's happening where. But that is how I set this up. Then the next page here is for my weight loss. There is tons of different ideas for this page, but I just took some washi tape at the top. Then I got these. I'm pretty sure I got these from Nicole Hutch Designs. <clears throat> I accidentally threw away the paper that it came on before I decided I wanted to do a walkthrough, but I'm pretty sure that's where I got these. You can get them anywhere. Shops have different scripts and such. But this is for to track my weight and my measurement. So my neck, my stomach, left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg, and then my weight. So that just kind of gives me something to go, to go off of. If I see me kind of gradually gaining weight, then I know, hey, you need to get your butt in gear. <laughs> so that is what I use these two pages for. But like I said, there's tons of options that you can use it for. Then we flip over into July. So for this um, setup, I will be using this as my main events. So kids sporting events, my teaching, birthdays, anything that if we have holidays, that's going to be this. I will be using a kit and that's what's going to happen on this page. So just like normal. So when you flip it over, we have this notes page here. I am going to keep track of my videos for YouTube on this page. So I just have another monthly thing. I'm pretty sure that's from Nicole Hutch Designs as well. And then I have film, edit, thumbnail, upload, Facebook, and then Instagram. So I write my title here and then just check off as I go. This little guy here is a rascal number two from Simply Smith Stickers. I do have a code check down below for that. I love using these it just kind of fits and then I take washi and just kind of fit it with whatever month we're working with same with the little deco up here just whatever I have I usually I just pull from happy planner books and that's how I do the side so on this side 
I will be putting a quote here. This one is actually from one of the Erin Condren books. It says, writing it down is the first step. Over here, I will be doing my sticker kit. So my goals for the year is to lose weight, drink my water, eat right, exercise, do all the things. That's not going to change. It got kind of repetitive writing that every month. So I decided to put my sticker kits there. So then like when I'm flipping through, I can see, oh, the, sh the kit that I used this week is from My Planning Addictions. The kit that I used this week is from Cricut Paper Co. And just kind of go from there. So I think that is going to be something pretty cool. The next box I'm going to keep as birthdays. So I just found the Celebrate from the back sticker pages, put a little deco that matched the color, and then I will write down my birthdays for the month. Down here I have this little sticker area. So I have L7 from Planner Kate. It just says stickers. And then I'm going to write the shop here when it was shipped or when it was shipped and when it was delivered. So just a little cross. Obviously I'm not gonna go that crazy, but I was just trying it out. I think the next month I just went to two columns. Sometimes I'm a little sticker happy and sometimes I'm not. So I just want to try this out. I just got a little mail truck here um, that was from a freebie. But yeah, I think this is kind of going to be my main dashboard notes page setup. Alright, continuing on, that will just go into the weekly spreads here. Like normal, I got the vertical colorful. So I'm excited to get into that. And then we will flip into the second monthly um, view. So a lot of people that I've seen Frank and plan these do not keep this page. I wanted to keep this because in my petite planner, that's how I um, kept track of my bills. So this one, I'm not gonna use a kit. Obviously, I'm just sticking with the theme here. And to start off, I have all three of these from Nicole Hutch Designs. Obviously, I will be getting the others when they come out. I think she only does it three months at a time. So you can see here, I still have more, but these are the bills of the month. That's just, I mean, I'm a 30 year old adult. We have three kids, we have lots of bills. So that is where they go in. There is a part here where you can put the amount and paid when we do it. And then I did add this little Winston here from Nightingale Paper Co. So this is Winston 8 and he's just peeking out the side. I thought that was just cute to add. And then I did add the date dots from Planner Kate S1104 just to add a little bit more of the color. Like I said, I'm not going to be using a kit, but I did want to add the color. And then over here on the side, I just took these little hexagons. Yeah, I brought back the hexagons. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but I brought them back over here just for Etsy so I can kind of write down how much I'm purchasing in stickers so I can see. My husband seems to think I spend a little too much on stickers. We will see at the end of this. I don't really keep track. I just, whenever I see a sale, I go on and I buy what I want. But yeah, this is the second, this is the daily duo part of the monthly view. So after that, so... I kind of got a little antsy and started planning and I was like, wait, maybe people want to see this. So I stopped here, but have everything for that. So again, we just get into the daily part of the planning. So be on the lookout for this. I'm not doing it yet, but be on the lookout for that for sure. So we just keep going. I don't know what to do with this second notes page. I'm not for sure yet. Not there yet. So again... This will have a kit, all my main events, the weekly spreads. Well, here I can show you. This is kind of what it looks like. I just see this one I only went to two. I think that's pretty, pretty accurate for a month, I would say. Again, I added the dots here. You can get those from Planner Kate Samplers. Super easy. You can get them anywhere. You don't have to do it, but I did just to add the fifth dot there to keep track. Again, YouTube over here weekly stuff here, bills here, Etsy here, paydays already in, then we get into the daily duos, same thing with September kit, here's this, I picked a quote out from this Simply Smith Stickers family quotes, again I just went with the two rows, I think that'll be fine, bills, and then I don't have the 
October yet because she has not come out with it yet. So let's flip back here into these two pages. So if you're on my Instagram, you saw these two pages. Um, I love them. So this is washi that I got at Hobby Lobby. Just came in a case. I added some little school stickers here, little paper airplanes. So here I will write their bus numbers, their school names, phone numbers, the attendance line that we have to call to call in when they are sick, what their lunch times are, their teachers, their emails, and then login and password. Um, Kaysen has different specials each day, so he'll have like art, music, gym, you know, those things. Brayden has them per quarter, so he'll have gym for two months, then he'll switch to tech, then he'll switch to art, so that's, I'm not going to write that in. He's 11, he can handle it, he knows when he needs to wear gym shoes, <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's basically all I have for this page, and like I said, they have computers with their own login and passwords, and I like to keep it in my book just in case I need to log on and see what they're really doing. But yeah, I really like how these two pages turned out. Alright, let's move on. And I put it on the, this notes page specifically because it's easy to turn to. I can open that up and just know that this is all their school info. So, moving on to the next page here. So, this all of, well, not all of this. I got these from a freebie, so that's not from this. I don't remember which freebie is because I threw it away. But these little movie night stickers and all of these little squares come from this sheet from Plan to Plan Sticker Company. 1557. I do have a few more. And then I do have a script that says, I think it says movie dates. Not sure. Coming from Orange Umbrella Company. So this is specifically for when me and my husband go out to see a movie. Whenever that happens, I don't know, but I am ready and I want to note it. So this won't go towards like movies that we watch as a family at home. So I really like how that turned out. I wish I had one more row. So I don't know if I want to purchase another one just for one more row. So I just kind of left it, but I like it. I mean... It serves a purpose. <laughs> Alright, so this next page, um, I have two different versions and I'll show you the other one at the end. I ordered this a long time ago, like a month ago. I'm pretty sure she's based out of country. So this is from the Prairie Planner and it's just book tracker. It comes with two sheets of paper. So basically you take the shelves and then you kind of line up the books how you want them. I add the deco wherever you want them. And then I just have this read from a sampler that I got a long time ago. And then, as you can see here, I just finished this book. So you put the either the name, the author, something on there that kind of labels. So really, these ones are a little bit small for me to write in personally. So I don't know if I'll actually use those stacked up ones. But for sure, these bigger ones I can use. And I just thought, since kids are out of school, we're not doing the e-learning stuff anymore mom can spend some more time reading so yeah I like this page a lot I might add washi at the top I don't know but I like I like how it turned out overall so this next sheet here I've had this in my last planner as well and um there's still some stuff on it that I haven't done from last year which is fine so this little square here is F04R from Fern Creek Stickers and it just says house renovations. I put that over some washi. You'll see that washi everywhere. It's thick washi. I really like it. These two little houses came from um, Planner Kate's uh, five-year sampler. They're right here. So I thought that was kind of cute just to add and then of course I kind of color coordinated. And then I just list, listed each room and then what I want to do. So these stars are from Planner Kate and I left those, crap, I left those in the house because I was doing something else with them. But they're from Planner Kate. I'm sure if you just search icons, they'll come up. Um, but yeah, I really like how this turned out. It kind of keeps me a little bit motivated. We haven't done much from last year, but so I just moved it over. We'll be fine. And then I'll check it off as we get there. This next page is for login and password. So I have all my websites here, login and then password. Not hard. It's just, it's basic. <laughs> I, I need it because 
mom brain and I can't remember anything. <laughs> All right, so this page here, again, I have the washi and then I have this coupon codes sheet from Simply Smith Stickers. So she just came out with these ideas. It is one giant sticker and this one is obviously for coupon codes so you just put the shop there the code the discount and the expiration date if there is one so i have one for planner kate honey inked panda bird designs fern creek stickers and then these three are the ones that i pr for so orange umbrella coat simply smith the stickers and my planning addictions my code and then the percentage that it has off i love this um if this fills up i will gladly get another one i do have some space for a few more and you'll see in just a minute um, what I'm trying to figure out what I want to do but yeah um, let's see so I do have space an empty space here for something here 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 and then back here you've probably seen this I shared it a couple times on Instagram so this is the actual contact sheet and I just wiped it out these extra spaces here and then I used the sticker here from the Erin Condren sticker subscription that's the only one I purchased and then I actually it messed up like the foiling was coming off in some of them so they sent another one so I just picked the two blue ones from there and then I just did that I mean that is I think this is like my favorite page in the whole book but anyways, it's just to keep track of my YouTube and my Instagram, like subscribers, you know, each month. So I'm pretty sure these are Planner Kate's monthly scripts from her freebie that she sends out. And then this is just some thin washi. But the boxes are S807 and they fit pretty perfectly in there if you want to do something where it like matches the washi. But literally, this is my favorite page in the whole life planner. This was the first page I set up and I just, I love how it turned out. So the last one I have to show you here is a weight loss tracker, again, from Simply Smith Stickers. It's just one giant sticker and it has date, start weight, goal weight, goal one, two, three, and reward for those goals. And then there's just scales, you just follow along and then pounds lost. So I did go back and add Planner Kate's, um, script stickers for her months because I'm just going to keep track of it kind of like on the first page of this planner but I just want to have it back here so I can just see I don't know I just think it's cute and you know who doesn't love a big sticker <laughs> so that is this and then again this is the back of my planner so for the extra note pages I I have this reading tracker the books are a little small for my handwriting that's why I didn't use it but I'm trying to see if I can figure something else out. Like maybe give this to my son for his reading, my oldest son. Um, I, don't, I just don't know. I don't know what I want to do. They are in a reading program, so maybe I can make them each a column and then just like check them off as they write their or read their books. That might be an option. I don't know. I'm just, I've got to try to figure it out. And then I also have this gift guide. You guys probably just saw me haul this. I had a video go live earlier this week and I, I just I need to figure out what I want to use. So this is a gift guide, person, item, store, price, and then purchased. Savings tracker is another really good one. I don't really keep track of my savings. My husband does all the banking in his head and he has like an app on his phone. He just tells me when I can spend and when I can't. So I don't know if I'm going to actually use this one. This one, Home Improvement, I already had that page done before she came out with all this so now I'm kind of like well what do I want to do with it I still love it because it's one big sticker so I don't know I may put this in place of my other one or save it for next year and then kit tracker this is another one I absolutely love but I already have a place for it in my dashboard so I'm not sure maybe I can find just another like chop this off here and find another use for these stickers and then this is one I'm pretty sure I'm going to use, but I don't know how I want to use it yet. If I want to use it for, like, get one for Hulu, get one for Netflix, get one for Sling. I don't know yet. 
because that would be, you know, three pages, three notes pages, which I do have, but then I won't be able to use anything else. So again, this is TV show tracker. You put the source, so Netflix, Hulu, Sling, cable. I don't know. I don't have cable. It's too expensive for me. And then the season, the date time, the show goes up there, and then you mark off the episodes that you watched, and then beginning date and ending date. And then you can rate it. But yeah, I don't know... I don't know what I want to do with those extra pages yet. I'm sure it will come to me or maybe I will get something else in. And then she said she also had some more ideas in the works. So that could be an option as well. So I'm just going to hold on to these and see if I can save them or use them in the future. But that is my little walkthrough of everything that I have done in my life planner. Let me know down below if you guys Franken plan, if it was your first time. I really don't think it was that hard. Um, I mean, my coil's not perfect. It just, I just kind of slung it back in there, but like it turns and everything, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, this is my video. Thank you guys for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. If you don't follow me already on Instagram, it's the same here, Plan with Brittany. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.